Her face was completely not like that. Was a little bit more ugly. In this case, the artist he used a model from the 20th century, a Miss Colombia, to make this wonderful monument. Now you understand. It makes sense, right? But from here to one of the most important places in the recent history, because here we have the International Cinema Festival of Cartagena de Indias from 1959. It's like our Oscars awards here in the city. Better than the Oscars. Much better. So important because it's the most important cinema festival in South America, 1959. And it promotes cultural diversity in the movies. I mentioned all Oscars awards in the city. And they promote cultural diversity. One of those movies, 1969, was made, and maybe you hear about this man, Marlon Brando. Okay, this wonderful actor, Marlon Brando. So this movie was filmed here in Cartagena, named Quemada or Born, 1986. Maybe if you type it, you search it on the internet, you're gonna be able to find it. And it's so important because one of the main actors was this man, Evaristo Marquez. An actor, oh, well, he wasn't an actor at that moment, and he was from Palenque de San Basilio, the isolated African village. Okay? And he was illiterate. He didn't know to write, he didn't know how to read, and he appeared in the movie. It was so important because he didn't know anything about acting, and his mentor at that moment was Marlon Brando. So the director was looking for a very important, very tall man, very muscular black man in Palenque de San Basilio, and he started to see this man, and he said, okay, this is the one that I need. But Marlon, I need you to train this man to be a great actor. So he started to get to know him using a translator at that moment. And it's so important because, as I mentioned, they promote cultural diversity in the movies. Also, last, the last one was this one, Gemini Man with Will Smith. It was filmed in Cartagena this year on April 2018. So other movies, other things that you're going to find here in the city is maybe you hear about Gabriel Garcia Marquez, a wonderful writer here in Colombia. And some of his books, they got like a film adaptation. One of them, Chronicles of a Death Photo. The last one, Love on the Kind of Cholera. You're going to see here. That, that one is really nice. The movie and the book, Love on the Kind of Cholera, 100% recommended. But also, not talking about cinema, about other things different than history. And when Will Smith, he was here, he starts to get to know Champeta, that word that you say at the beginning. Knockers. They determine which kind of people used to live in the house. For example, we have a lion, and in this case, he used to be a military, a member of the military for Spain inside that house. So the bigger the lion was uh, a better position. So we will have maybe a soldier, a general, a lieutenant, or a commander, depending on how big was the lion at that moment. The door knocker. You're gonna find also a lizard, and also some marine creatures. That means that a uh, member of the Navy of Spain or even American or a pirate was living inside this house. In other houses they're gonna be a cross or a hand with a cross. That means that a priest used to live inside the, the house from the Catholic Church. But also take a look at this wonderful door and you're gonna see the main one was main, named Portor. Was only open for the owner or the master of the house with a big carriage. At that moment, the level of the houses was this one, over here, for the big carriages. So the other door was the small one named Ortillo, was only for the servants. So for the 
master of the house was outrageous to accept the same floor as the servant. It cannot be possible. So even at that time, there was like some social discrimination. Okay? So those are the two main ones. You're going to find the facade, beautiful, made in coral stone, polished. And also, you're going to find the balconies. Some of them, they have like three sections. Some of them, they have four sections and even five sections. So the bigger the balcony was, more money of the people living inside this wonderful house. So this is the main meaning of these wonderful houses. Now we are going to continue because we are going to talk about the Inquisition. The Inquisition, my friends, and pay attention to this, was very controversial. Because Inquisition means to investigate. To find out if one of women were practicing polygamy, people not believing in God, people against the Catholic Church, witches, wizards, even people too skinny. Fortunately for me, that doesn't exist anymore, because if it will, I will not be here telling you the history. But why skinny people? Because is very very expensive. The restaurants but also the apartments for night. They buy for five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars per night one of these apartments. But it's so interesting because you're gonna see the church. The Santo Domingo Church by the Dominican Order. One of the oldest churches in town. But the thing with this place is have you ever seen a naked woman in front of a church? Have you ever seen that before? No. And it's so interesting because the history is from Botero, when he donated the work from his own to the, church, to, the, to the city of Cartagena, the Catholic and also the citizens from Cartagena decided to say, please, artists, remove this from here. This is pornographic. And he said, no, 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 I just want to show that volume is also sexy. And they ended up accepting the beautiful monument head through this in front of, a, in front of the church. He has, she has, sorry, magical powers. And I'm gonna show you those magical powers over here. Please follow me to get to know the magic. You will come back to Cartagena. But if you go to the back part and grab that big ass part, you will stay in Cartagena. Well, I'm not sure about this because I live here, but I'm gonna give you some time take a photo with her through this, okay? The beautiful, big, naked woman in front of the church. <laughs> 